Well, Minecraft fans, it seems there's a new game coming to the Minecraft series, man. Since Microsoft has taken over the franchise, they've been adding a bunch of new games from story mode to the um, Wii U version. The point is that they're really expanding on the property. What we have here is probably the most interesting one I've seen so far. There's going to be something called Minecraft Education Edition. That's very, very fascinating for obvious reasons. Minecraft has always been considered, you know, leisure, a fun game to play when you get home from school. But now Minecraft is trying to bridge the gap between the academic environment and the playing environment. And they do have a point. They're trying to say that Minecraft is not just a, a game about, it's not really a game, you know, it's not really just about fun games. Obviously Minecraft does have some real, you know, learning opportunities. It helps kids, you know, learn how to build. It helps kids learn how to, you know, problem solve, you know, innovate using the limited resources they have. It teaches them about survival. The point is Microsoft is trying to say that this game is more than just a, a fun kids game. It, it actually can be an educational experience. So by making this game, they want to bring this stuff to school. They're saying, oh, kids can learn about the ancient, you know, Pompeii, Pyramids of Giza, because people are going to build them in the world. So now you can, re you can recreate these things in the, in the Minecraft world, and the kids can have a, you know, interactive 3D, you know, experience with these Wonder, that's, that's what they're basically saying here. So it's called Minecraft Education Edition. It actually is, it actually basically came out. Like you can actually get this, but you have to be a school. You can't just get this on your own, you know what I'm saying? They, they said they didn't, they didn't want to change too much with the experience, because obviously they still want it to be, you know, they want it to be very similar to the original Minecraft edition. Obviously some kids have already played Minecraft, so if they made the game too different, there'd be too much of a learning curve for the kids, you know what I'm saying? So what they're trying to, what they're trying to do here is keep the game very similar. So they're saying the game is very, very similar. There's only a couple of UI changes and map changes and just lesson plan changes to make it more suitable for an academic environment. But overall, they're saying they didn't really change that much. That's that's pretty cool. So this will, obviously this will be coming to schools and stuff. You know, yeah, it looks looks pretty cool. You know, it looks it looks pretty cool. You know, I mean, what's what's my actual opinion on this? I'm not entirely sure because it's it could be a cool concept, but I, I have. These scores, many of these like principals and these people and the superintendents, the people who decide exactly, you know, what goes into the school, they don't really know what Minecraft is. They only understand the digital age. They only understand what kids are doing these days. I mean, I doubt. I mean, I really doubt that this is gonna this is gonna become mainstream quickly. May, over time, maybe so, but in the short term, I don't see this becoming a really big hit because it's gonna be expensive. First of all, second of all, in my high school, I was in high school. I'm in college now. When I was in high school. A lot, a lot of schools were using Chromebooks, as y'all are saying. A lot of schools, my school was using Chromebooks, and Minecraft doesn't really work with Chromebook. The only way to get Minecraft on Chromebooks, you would have to have flash ROM and get um, Croton, you know, UE Linux. So overall, interesting, interesting idea, but it's gonna take time for it to get mainstream, if it ever does, you know.